Man. I really don't even know where to start for real. Because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like I'm gonna accept him and love him for who he is. So I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said... You found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word, when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I done been through the most with you. Oh, party, what you think? I'm gonna write me down because I'm gonna write. Oh, man, this is IV, little boozy daughter. She said she's fed up. She said she's over with the way her dad keep bashing her, keep talking about her sexuality in the media. They not once he ever have a conversation with her. Never had a one-on-one -on -one with her. Nah, Boozy. Boozy, Boozy, come here, boy. <laughs> come here, Boozy. You're going to have to stop that, my boy. <laughs> you going to have to stop that, my boy, because one thing I think you failing to realize, when you're looking at this girl, she's a spitting image of you, my G. She's completely 100% you. Now, you can't be mad that she's 100% of you. Not a quarter, not a half. She's 100% you. She had no control over that, my boy. She has no control over that. This is what you're failing to realize. When you look at her, she's exactly you. From head to toe, bottom, top, side. Like, she's 100% you. You're going to have to kind of turn with that. Now, you might want to be a little more feminine to really be a girl. <laughs> She's not. She's basically you. Who's that fault? We don't know. We can't blame her. Just sit down and talk to your daughter, man. It's your worst of you. See you till next time. Till next video. Peace.